Why don't you take a spin on this? Oh, hi there. Welcome back to Vlogs and Frogs. So, as you can see, this is the adventure pack. We got rope, we got some cool shoes, uh, cereal, good, yummy, water bottle, and a whole bunch of nonsense inside. So, it's pretty gloomy today. There is an underlying purpose for what we're going to do today, but I can't tell you that yet. So you kind of just have to stick around long enough to figure it out. So yeah, without further ado, uh, we're going to do what we do best and cause chaos and do absolutely as much nonsense as possible. So yeah, this way. Kerplunk. So I told you guys at the beginning there was a secret purpose. Now, the secret purpose more explained than secret purpose is we're trying to find the geographic coordinates based on latitude and longitude of the earth. Latitude being north and south, longitude being east and west. We're trying to find these coordinates of a tree that has a plant that we want to show you guys. But this plant grows at the way, 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 way tops of the trees. Thus the rope, and I got a harness, and hooks, and all those things. But, that's the goal. So we're gonna go try to continue to find this tree. So far we have, we found some good candidates, but we need a great candidate, because it's gotta be amazing. Now I can't tell you what that plant is. It's a super secret plant, but if you stick around long enough, like I said, you may find out. Who knows? Maybe even next week you might find out. Water got into my boots. I didn't wear my waist high ones. I got too excited in the nonsense. Now we're all wet. But lucky for me, it's so cold that I can't feel my feet. So basically, like I'm not even wet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But my socks here, bro. I got birds on them. Think about that. So as winter comes, many animals go away. Mammals prefer to hibernate. Reptiles like to brumate. And amphibians do a good mixture. You can find wooded salamanders out under rocks and stuff. And what we're looking at right now is a nice smooth hole that very liably could be where frogs are. Frogs will bury down into the mud and chill out there and hang around there, you know? All along the banks, as well as some frogs even freeze over, like literally freeze over like a popsicle. And then when spring comes around, they just fall out like a toaster strudel and then go back to eating bugs. That's crazy. Hey, you know what this is? This is a monkey brain. Okay, no, it's not a monkey brain, but it sure looks like a monkey brain. This is a fruit from an Osage orange tree. They aren't, they're not native here, but they came into North America mainly by settlers. They were actually named after the Osage Indians. Now, they look cool and they're funny because very few animals actually eat these things so truthfully majority of them just rot on the ground and then eventually plant more trees and then the trees take over so that is why osage orange trees can spread so fast uh in the old times they were very good on farms because they would the very large and strong roots would hold the soil together really well and prevent erosion as well as they made for some very very good shade they grow quite big Here's a picture of an osage orange tree. Here's another picture of an osage orange tree. These trees are everywhere. And if you've ever seen one of these giant monkey brains, they average about the size of an orange, but obviously, as you can see in this one, they get much, much bigger than that. And they are kind of sticky, but you can see this one's rotting too. And yeah, they just kind of rot and grow more. They have very thick bases and they grow plenty of branches with thorns on them and yeah. 
a monkey brain. You thought I was gonna eat it. You're not wrong. Nope. Never mind. Cartwheel! So completely, utterly random info is, uh, man, while driving to the good old UPS, I saw these, uh, these cool vultures taking on a absolutely ginormous dead possum. Biggest one I've ever seen. And they were tearing this thing apart. And there were a bunch of them. And I just wanted to show you these cool pictures you're seeing now. Because it is very intriguing to me. These absolute beautiful raptures. I like to stop and move roadkill like that out of the road. So that those beautiful birds don't have to risk getting hit by cars. Who either accidentally hit them by not seeing multiple very large black objects sitting in the road. Or purposefully seeing three giant black objects in the road and hitting them. So yeah, I'll get some trusty gloves on and go out there and move the roadkill off the road because I don't want to see more animals die. Enough die for idiotic reasons already. Absolutely idiotic reasons, but that's a tale for another story. The beauty of the night is watching the day go by and as the sun sets upon the beautiful land we all say goodbye and we all say good night goodbye guys and thanks for coming i hope you join me next time and every time because this land out here is beautiful and we need to experience it because it cleans your soul. So go clean your soul and get ready because we'll be back. You're awesome. Never forget it. Tell yourself every day. So remember, slay it up every day. Every day is play day. I don't even know. Go away. Bye.